Okay folks, this is just a wee quick video. Some issues you have with pass loads. Your IM350, the old sort of pass load nail gun where sometimes the battery when it goes into the housing just isn't just secure, there's a bit of movement. So you know you put the battery in, obviously there's there's movement and that interferes with the with the way the gun fires obviously because there's not a good connection. So this is only our idea. You get these little rubber gaskets and some dry rage kits, the glide veil ready rule. Okay, so what we have done is we have basically cut these in half to give you something like this. So what we have done is we basically just dropped it inside the battery housing. Obviously jigging it about so it's upright. Present your battery to the casing. Push in. Absolutely no movement whatsoever. So it really makes it secure. Yeah, we've got the obviously the green light. Okay. That's one nail gun that we have. We also use the BEA D90s. A bigger gun, a bit more awkward, it's what we have. Again, we have an issue with movement in the battery within the casing because it's slightly worn, whatever, etc. Again, present your little rubber. Present your battery to the casing. <laughs> Solid. These are issues boys at all roofers find and we, we have we have issues with these on a daily basis. Again, very temperamental at times boys, but we've started to put these things in. Look. Bingo. It's just a few tips that we've seen. And it's really helped us this last um, this last wee while, thinking there's going to be more issues with our guns than not. So that's it. So if you have a little bit of sponge, I wouldn't recommend use it like a, like a sponge for washing up or washing a car because they're too soft. These are proper robust rubber um, sponges that you apply in below the ridge to seal the gap in the ready roll. And we just, they're easy to apply. Cut them in half, put them in, apply your battery, stops all the movement. Bingo. Thanks boys. Hashtag Prentice Roofing.